As a collector, I find Indian rupees incredibly fascinating. Here are my five reasons why. Reason number one, they come in various sizes. This is a one rupee note from 1992. It is such a tiny note compared to this giant 500 rupees note. While the Gandhi series notes are relatively big, the new Gandhi series are thinner and shorter. If you have an album, they look really cool as you flip the pages. Reason number two, they tell us where to travel. They have a guide for all sorts of tourists. If you are into hiking, you could check out Kanchenjunga, the third highest mountain in the world located in the northeast of India. If you are a beach bum, you should visit Port Blair City in the Andaman Islands, five hours from New Delhi. If you're traveling with your family, your children will love the Mount Harriet National Park. If you are a history buff, you could start with the Red Fort, Mughal Emperor's military building designed for the defense in warfare. In just an hour drive from the Red Fort, you could check out Sanchi Stupa, the oldest stone structures in India, an important landmark for Buddhism. Then you have a choice whether to go west or south. In the west, for about 15 hours drive, you can see Rani Ki Vav, the Queen's Stepwell. Historic stepwell with elaborate carvings and pillars, originally built as a memorial of to a king. In the south, for about 24 hours drive, you can see Hampi, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, an ancient village in Karnakata. Reason number three, they haven't changed to polymer. I am biased here, but let me show you one feature that only paper money can portray. Have a look at these rupees notes. You may be wondering, why do I bother keeping these damaged notes in my album? I simply have no intentions to resell my banknotes. So to me, they are a different kind of beauty. I'm sure these notes have traveled far and when you put them side to side, they look fascinating. Reason number four, color. I love the fact that they just reinvent the wheel. The 10 was orange and they became brown. The 20 was red and they became yellow. The 50 was purple and they became light blue. The 100 was blue and green and it became purple. The 500 was yellowish and it became stone gray. It is important to note that not many currencies do this. Some examples are New Zealand dollars. They have the same color patterns for the past 50 years. And Hong Kong dollars and Thai baht use the same color patterns in the last three generations. Reason number five, unpredictability. You may have noticed that Indian rupees is always creative when they release a banknote family. In the 1980s, they released a family of banknotes called the Agricultural Series. And they look like this. In the late 1990s, early 2000s, they released the Mahatma Gandhi Series. And they look like this. I'm just missing the 1,000 rupees. So if you have one that you are willing to sell, please consider sending me an email. In 2015, they released the new Mahatma Gandhi series, and they look like this. If you compare them side by side, you can see how they are so different in terms of sizes, colors, and the reverse pictures. The next big question is, will Indian rupees go polymer in the next series? We just have to wait and see. So there you have it, my five reasons why I love Indian banknotes. How about you? If you had to pick one, what is your favorite feature? Thank you for watching and I hope this was a fruitful watch.